welcome students in this today's lecture we will see about the projection of point in the last lecture we have gone through uh, what is meaning by vertical plane what is horizontal plane what is profile plane so we have gone through the various types of planes after that in the next lecture of that we have gone through the about the uh, third angle projection method and the first angle projection method now we move towards the uh, projection of points so points lies in the various quadrants last time we have seen about this so the system already we have seen in the last lecture the observer is always here remember with respect to observer whatever the point position is there we are going to describe that point position so suppose the point lies here in the first quadrant the point lies here like this the point lies here in the first quadrant. So, with respect to the observer, observer is here. With respect to the observer, observer ke hisab se, this point is above HP. This is HP. So, the point is, this is the point. So, the point is above HP in front of VP. The point is above HP in front of VP. So, when the point lies in the first quadrant, the position of point is above HP and in front of VP. So while drawing is uh, that is uh, views, this is the point. So while drawing it, its front view will be on the VP like this. Here it will be the front view of that point, and the top view will be on this. The front view will be here, and the top view will be here. This is the point. So this is the front view, and this is the top view. So which distance is appearing in the front view? The above HP. Jitna bhi HP ke upar hai, wo distance hume front view mein dikhega. Whatever the distance from HP that will be appear in the front view, and whatever the distance in the uh, that is uh, in front of VP that will appear in the top view like this. So this is the front view, this is the top view. Then we rotate it. So when I rotate it, it will be like this. When I rotate it, it will be like this. The front view goes above XY line. The front view goes above XY line, and the top view goes below XY line. So while drawing here. So this is the first quadrant, the point lies here, say A point. So this is the front view of this point. I denote this point as A dash. This is the top view of this point. That is the A. Okay. And when I rotate it, rotate this, this will be this is the XY. When I rotate it, the front view is above XY line and the top view goes below XY line. So this is the front view above XY line. This is the top view below x y line. This is the top view. Top view is denoted by a and the front view is denoted by a dash. And the distance in the front view. This distance, this distance, whatever the distance we mark in the front view, that is with respect to HP. Whatever the distance is from HP, that we distance plot in the front view. And whatever the distance from VP, that we plot in the top view. This is the distance. So we mark it like this. So in this, what is this position? The point is in first quadrant. That is, the point lies above HP in front of VP. The observer is always here. Okay. Now in the second quadrant, the point is here. So with respect to the observer, the point is behind VP, above HP. Behind VP. From the observer point of view, the point is behind VP and above HP. And when I am going to draw its uh, front view and top view, rotate it. The front view and the VP. Front view will be here, the top view will be here. And when I rotate it, when I rotate it, the front view and the top view get overlap above XY line. The front view and top view get overlap above XY line. So, this is the B point. So, this point is behind VP, above HP. Behind VP, above HP. Its front view will be on a VP and the top view will be on HP and when I rotate it, rotate it, this front view and top view get overlap above XY line. So while drawing this, if suppose this is the B dash, then here it will be B. And the distance, this distance of B is depend on the distance in front of VP. VP ke jitna distance hoga, wo distance yahan pe hum plot karenge B ke liye. Aur B dash, this distance we are going to plot, 
whatever the distance of this B point from the HP same as to this this is the B dash distance is distance of a point from uh, HP and this distance is distance of point from DP behind DP like this now in the third quadrant if the point lies in the third quadrant so when we look from this side the point is behind VP point is behind VP below HP behind VP below HP that is the third quadrant and its front view will be on VP here and here the on the VP it is will be here front view and the top view will be on HP and when I am going to rotate this when I rotate it the front view will be here and the top view will be on the above XY so this is the point C point so its front view will be on the HP no, sorry on the VP and the top view will be on the HP and when you rotate it the top view goes above XY line the top view goes above XY line the front view lies below XY line so this is the front view of this point C point and this is the top view of this point C point so this is the third quadrant position that is behind VP below HP third quadrant position and the last one if the point lies in the fourth quadrant the point lies in the fourth quadrant with respect to the front uh, observer the point is in front of VP in front of VP and below HP in front of VP below HP so if its front will be on this VP and the top will be here and when I am rotate it the front view and top view get overlap the front view and top view get overlap below XY line front view and top view get overlap below XY line so suppose the point is here that is a D point so its front view will be here D dash top view will be here D and when you rotate this the front view and top view get overlap below XY line so here it will be like this so suppose this is the D dash this is the D so this is the front view of this point this is the top view of this point so see the point is in front of VP below HP so like this so uh, we just take a review of this see revision of this when we are looking from this side if the point A is lying in the first quadrant it means this point is in front of VP above HP so its front view will be on the VP the top view will be on HP when I rotate it the top view goes below XY line front view will be above XY line if the point is in the second quadrant the point is behind VP above HP behind VP above HP second quadrant this front view is again on the VP top view will be on HP and when I am going to rotate this the front view and top view goes above XY line so the front view and top view both will be above XY line this is the front view and this is the top view when the point is in the third quadrant third quadrant the point is below HP and behind VP below HP behind VP its front view will be on this vertical plane and its top view will be on horizontal plane and when I am going to rotate it the front view goes below XY line and the top view goes below above XY line so here the front view will be below XY line and the top view will be above XY line so in the last position if the point lies in the fourth quadrant the point is D point is in front of VP this is the observer the point is in front of VP and below HP in front of VP below HP so front view will be on VP the top view will be on HP when looking from this side and when I am rotating, rotating this HP the front view and top view both goes below XY line so here see front view and top view both goes below XY line so like this we are going to draw the position of point so you can draw the position of the position of any point like this just remember that whatever the distance with respect to HP whatever the distance with respect to HP that may be above HP or below HP that going to we are going to mark in the front view whatever the distance is with respect to HP that we are going to mark in the front view and whatever the distance with respect to VP that will be in front of VP in front of VP or behind VP whatever the distance with respect to VP that we are going to mark in the top view do remember this like this you can draw any point projection projection of any point uh, so go through this video so that you can get uh, the idea about the progression of point in the coming lecture in the next lecture we are going to see 
the distance between two points. How to find out the distance between two points? That points lies in the same quadrant or in the different quadrant that we are going to see in the next lecture. Uh, before going to see this video, first of all, uh, go through the last two videos so that you can easily understand this. I will uh, mark the is uh, link in the description box so that if you want to go to that, click on that link. You can find the uh, earlier video than this. And if you like this video, click on like button, do share and uh, comment if you have any problem. Subscribe to my channel and uh, ask your friends to go through this channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.